<coughs> Hello, in this video I will show you, you the methods used to find the initial position of the rotor in the case of PM motor. There is two methods. The first one consists to do two simulations. The first simulation only magnets are used uh, and the current equal to zero in each phase. The simulation number two we consider both magnet and uh, one supplied phase. For each simulation create, we create a path in the air gap we display the normal component of the flux density along the path and display the FFT. We recover the angle of the first harmonic for each FFT. The difference between both represents the initial position of the rotor. The second method is to use the macro. First step, load the macro. The second step, run the macro by selecting the number of pole pairs. Number of pole pairs represented the stator periodicity, the current sources, and the mechanical sets. Once this is done, you click on you click on OK to run the macro. In the end, a new input-output parameter will be created with the value of the initial position of the rotor. We start by the first method, using flux project. First simulation, we use only the magnets as magnetic field sources. The current sources should be set to zero. For the solving scenario, we create a new one with two steps. The minimum steps required in the case of empty application is two. Once this is done, we solve the project. This is uh, this, in this in this picture. We say the, the progression of the of the solving. Once the solving is done, we create a path in the air gap, type arc defined by center radius and angle. We put the value of the radius, the coordinate of the center, and the number of the point discretization. As next steps, we display the normal component of the flux density in the air gap using the path. To display the FFT of the normal component of flux density, we do right click, select FFT, and select the curve of B normal. New window will be opened. You select the number of harmonics. In this case, we use one because we are interested by only the first harmonic. From the FFT, we can deduce the angle of the first harmonic. Be more about the unit in the results displayed in flux. You should convert it to the, into the degree. In this first simulation, the angle of the first harmonic is 22.5 degrees. The second simulation consists to use both magnet and one phase as magnetic field source. We edit the current source sources set to zero the phase one and uh, sorry, phase two and three. We follow the same steps as the simulation number one, solve the project, display the normal component of the flux density on the air gap using a path, do the FFT and deduce the angle of the first harmonic. In the second simulation, the first harmonic angle is minus 22.5 degrees. The same thing we are be, be worried about also the units. The final initial position of the rotor is the subtraction between the angle of the first harmonic simulation and the angle of the first uh, and the angle of the first harmonic for the second simulation. In the end, the initial position of the rotor for this example it is 45 degrees. The second method consists to use the macro. This macro is available on fl in flux. First step, you load, we load the macro from flux. Once the macro is loaded, we run, we run it, and we put the number of pole pairs, number of pole per poles represented in tune tree, the state of periodicity, the current sources, and also the mechanical sets. And we click, in, and we click on OK. The solving, uh, the solving, the, the solving of project will be started. Behind Flux solve two projects. The first one, the magnet as magnetic sources. The second one, the magnet and one phase as magnetic sources. For each case, we compute the angle of the flux density uh, for the first harmony. It is the same principle as what we have seen in using the Flux project. In the end, new input output parameter will be uh, created with the value of the angle represented the initial position of the rotor.